Hello there and welcome back. I'm so pleased you come to see me again. Do you know what I'm doing today? I am planting <gasps> Cordelines. Right, do you know what these are? Cordeline Australis. Yeah, Cordeline Australis. But oh yes. They look a little bit variegated. They are variegated, yeah. 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 Huh. Do you know what? I mean Well we're wondering, oh maybe tall bay does Maybe tall bay. I mean yeah, oh, it's hard to tell, there, isn't it? Yeah. Bay, so it's a really nice variety. Anyway, yeah. what I'm going to talk to you today about is lifting cord lines and planting them without killing them off at the same time. So let's cue the intro. Right, so to begin with, it's, um, it's the middle of February, so it's still technically winter, but it's a really lovely warm day. But I know for a fact that next week, Going to be freezing temperatures again anyway so these have been lifted so it should be fine because the plants are still effectively dormant but what we have here is we don't have a viable root ball you see all these roots mm. here yeah they're strange aren't they just coming out the stem at the bottom at the base yeah that's right and there's no there's no fibrous roots on there no. that the uh, the plant would use to take in water and nutrition and yeah. it's the water that's the important thing because if the plant begins to grow and temperatures warm up, then if you come all the right way over here, mm. these yeah. leaves will then start yep. to lose moisture, the stem will lose moisture, and uh, the whole plant will dry out. And it's quite possible that the plant can die if it runs out of water in the stem and the leaves before it's got roots that can take the water in. So it's very important that we deal with this. And okay. how do we deal with this, Lorna? Um, we remove some of the leaves. That's right, we will remove a we lot of the leaves. A lot of leaves. We're going to take all this off okay. and leave a little tuft yeah. of leaves at the top. So before we do anything else, mm. look at me, you little lowly. Before we do anything else, we need to uh, throw a special effect in and clear off all these leaves. Out of breath. Did you see how fast I was working? Super I was fast. insane. Anyway, that's done. Right, next job is to dig the hole. Now I've dug the hole and you'll notice, as always, I dig a square hole. The reason for this is if this was a clay uh, soil, uh, roots tend to wrap around because they can't get out. So I always do a square. So you've got the corners and the roots can get into the corners and push their way through. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as we mentioned before, the, the, there wasn't really a root ball on this uh, gold line, so that gives us a little problem. Yeah. Uh, and because of that, we have to be really careful that because it's a big specimen, in the in the wind it can move like this. And because those um, those fine root hairs are only one cell, they are easily damaged and easily snapped. So we need need this plant once it's planted to be rock solid in order for the roots to take away without damage. You're treating it really like a tree, aren't you, here, in, in essence of the... the well, it is, because it's, yeah, it's quite a big specimen. Anchoring it in, so, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's all about... It's, 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 put simply, it's all about growing the roots, make sure they're functioning before the plant dries out. Yeah. That's all we're trying to do. So everything that we're doing is to resolve that issue. So first thing we do... Big steak. Big steak. Let's smash this in. OK, let's smash the steak in. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. It's okay. He's gonna kill himself one day with a hammer. This is safe. Look at this. Look at that. Oh. oh. One full up. Wait for it. Oh, oh go you. That's why I married you, for your muscles. <laughs> Sparkling personality. Ooh, that looks great. That's not bad, not bad is it? That's not bad is it? So, we set in the hole, but it's, uh, <coughs> wow, looking great. You know, I forgot something. So you're backfilling it with the soil from the, yeah, the yeah, hole? Yeah, the soil of the yeah. hole, yeah. Um, I forgot to get something. 
Did you forget the tree ties? I forgot the tree tie. Yeah. Okay, um, pause for a second. A few moments later. It's okay. Lorna saved the day. So hey. got one tree tie, one spacer. All right, okay. Um, right, okay. So, I hope I don't look like a spaz doing this. You want to use your honey? Oh, I don't. Okay, it's not long enough. So, I did bring two just in case of that. I like to be prepared. And these are great spaces, you see how yeah. it's sort of like a hard surface, yeah. it's got a lovely little curve on that. Yeah. It's really nice. It's not making it easy for me, is it? How about that? Yeah, it's great. I want to fidget with that a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so once that's a little bit tighter, what I'm going to do from there is uh, put a, a screw uh, or a nail into the um, the tie on the yep. stake. Obviously not in the tree. Yep. What I'm going to do is backfill it and water it. Perfect. And that is job done. I've got um, I've got two uh, two boring facts for you. Go on then. Right, it's called uh, uh, called Lion Australis. What country do they come from? Not Australia. No. South America? No. Africa? No. Europe? No. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, New Zealand. Okay. And uh, do you know its common name? Cabbage palm? It is cabbage palm. Why is it called cabbage palm? Because it smells like cabbages. Do you know when they rot off they do? Just oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Just because dark. this soft bit okay. in here, by the brain tip, yeah. it's actually edible. And oh. you boil it up and it tastes a little bit like cabbage day and that is why we call it a cabbage farm. And that is what we're having for dinner today. Oh, so yummy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, any questions, any comments, don't forget to put that in the comment section. Thank you for Amazing. watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye.